Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to give you examples of what service to self looks like versus service to others. Now, service to others is where your happiness, joy, true abundance will come from. Okay, and I'm going to give you super, it's not the big things, it's always the small things. So I want you to see what it really looks like. Example one, service to self, happened to me this morning. I go to yoga and I love the very back little, I, lo I go in the corner, back row, everything's, um, everything's marked out so you're not too close to people, following COVID, pro COVID protocol, it's perfect. I'm always in the back row. In two rows in front of me, there's this one lady, she's always there. She likes the front row in the corner, she's always there in front of me. And it was interesting, usually she's got the full front row to herself. Today, there was um, another woman that pulled out her mat beside her. She could, she's allowed. The protocol allows it. She's allowed to do this. She's, so the lady in front of me has a lot of distance, okay? Now, right in front of her is a mirror. The purpose of yoga is when you're doing your yogic flows and you're doing your postures, the purpose is to look into your own eyes and just meditate through it. This meditation allows you to feel the parts of the body, the kundalini or the um, meridians that you're opening. That's the purpose. So so the way the yoga studio has marked them is so that everybody can look at themselves. This lady in front of me, oh, I feel like saying her name, but I'm not because I actually do really like her. Um, she's, uh, so when this other girl comes, throws her mats up, mat down, she looks at me and she's like, and she's pointing at the other girl. And I'm like, I knew what she was going to do. She's done this before. So she moves her yoga mat, not giving a shit that she's blocking me and ruining my 90 minute practice, not allowing me to get into that meditative state, not giving a flying fuck. Oh no, she didn't. She just kind of looked at me like, sorry, but not sorry. And she moved her mat and she shouldn't have moved her mat because she had so much space. That, my friends, is called service to self. She only cared about herself. She didn't even give a shit that the guidelines are there. Like, you don't have to fucking move your mat. You don't have to ruin someone's practice. But in her mind, she doesn't want to be too close to people, then don't come to yoga. If you need more space, then the guidelines and the protocols are saying, don't come to yoga. Anyways. That is service to self, okay? But I had to, I just let it go. I moved right to the edge of the mat. I could still, so that I could still see myself, but you know, I was on the corner of my own mat, so I couldn't do my flows properly. I couldn't get deep into my yoga postures. It's fine, I, I know what she's like, fine. Service to others, what does that look like? So I have a, there's a, guy here in my neighborhood that drives around in his car every time it's recycling day. So today's recycling day. And he takes out pop cans or people that don't recycle. He takes these cans out of their recycling bin. I do not take the pop cans back. I put them in my recycling bin. But Here's the significance. I know when this dude, he always comes around 10 p.m. the night before. On Sunday night, he is at, outside around 10 p.m. I don't like putting my garbage out or my recycling out till the morning. I usually, when I'm like running out to yoga or I'll make Armand put it out, he runs out and he's gotta put the recycle. That's just been our habit. But ever since I found out that this dude comes around and picks up these cans and he usually starts like late in the evenings, I think he's a little shy so people don't say anything to him and he's embarrassed about it so he starts really late. Um, so what I've been doing is taking my recycling out and rolling it right to my front yard on a Sunday. And I just find this, found this out. So I did this for him yesterday with him in my mind. 
I don't really benefit from it, but he does. That is a small example of service to others. These vlogs that I do, I do them because I get some joy, I get some teaching, it's very healing for me, I get to share my knowledge, some of you enjoy them, I get messages back, people thanking me, thank you for those messages, I always appreciate them, but you've learned something, so I've given you my knowledge. Service to others. When people are getting road rage, road rage, service to self. Being patient in your car and knowing that everyone's got somewhere to go, but right now, this is just your circumstance. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna take you an extra five to 10 minutes. It's gonna be okay. Service to others. We have geese on 16th Avenue that are going by all the time, all the time, like they're crossing the street. It's a herd, it's a family. And they've been on 16th for like three weeks now. And those people that don't get pissed off and they stop for the geese, I've even seen some people come out and herd the geese along because sometimes they just stop in the middle of the road and you don't want some idiot not paying attention just to like kill one of them. But some people have been out and just hurting them, shooing them, like, come on, get to the other side. Service to others. And in this case, it's not even a human being, it's an animal. You see, you see the difference between service to self and service to others. The guy outside that was hurting the geese, you know how good he probably felt all day for doing a good deed and just feeling like, oh, I saved those geese today. Although he did it for the geese because out of concern and service to them, but he also got something back from it. Not like, ooh, I almost said her name. Not like my yoga friend who decides to block me so I can't see for 90 minutes and do my yoga, but she was content. So service to self. Who did she who did who did she satisfy? Herself. Who does she piss off? Me. But my service to her was that whatever, you know, she is not aware. It's totally fine. I'm just going, I have to suck it up. Like that's totally fine. Did I make a big deal out of it? No. I just sent her love and I just like Literally, I was watching her and then I stopped watching her. I'm like, I can't be mad about this. I just have to be like, send her some peace. I hope she has a good yoga practice. Maybe she needs it. She needs to really stare at herself and her form and not allow me to do it, but it's fine. So you see, like she got animosity back. She probably didn't have the greatest yoga practice because I was so pissed in the beginning. And it's all energy and she could probably feel my energy. But as I started easing off and just being like, it is what it is, it's fine. Um, so service to her, her yoga practice probably got a little bit better. But see how service to self when you affect others in a negative ma manner will come back to you. But even when you're helping others and you're doing something for another person, service to others, you always do feel good. It always comes back to you as well. Hope that makes sense. Love you guys. Bye-bye.